impossible to believe, isn't it, when you watch him having started as a flyweight champion. He's worked his way through the divisions and he's beating a big man here and looking very good in the process. Margarita has had his moments, but for the most part, he's been on the receiving end. And that continues here. Terrific work from Pacquiao. Lovely uppercut in time. And Margarito is becoming a walking target now. He's having to just soak it up. And that bravery is being tested, perhaps as never before. Manny Pacquiao slips through the gears epically, doesn't he? Just wonderful barrage of punches. The crowd stand on their feet. They love it. He's looking for the stoppage now, no doubt about it. But thousands and thousands of people bellowing in the direction of the ring, showing their appreciation for a terrific contest to which both men have contributed. And Pacquiao has dominated, and he's doing so as much as at any stage here in this round. Yeah, Margarito walking forward, his hands were down there, just walking in the shot, his face a mask of blood, the eye is closed, and Pacquiao still keeps landing punches. Margarito's a brave man though, a proud warrior, he'll want to go out on his shield, he'll want to see it through to the final bell, but that looks a long way away now, as we near the conclusion of this 10th round of a 12 rounder here in Dallas for the WBA title, and he's caught by a right hand, stopped in his tracks, and Pacquiao looking to take him out. He's in big trouble here, Margarito, 10 seconds remaining, he may see it through to the bell. It looks as though he can do, but Pacquiao looking to finish it right here and now. Somehow, somehow Margarito sees it through to the bell, but another huge round for Manny Pacquiao and a little shake of the head disconsolately from Margarito, and I wonder if that corner might be thinking about pulling him out. Well, you know, they should be, really. He's walking on the shot. He's very, very brave, but to be honest, it doesn't look much way to beat it, the doctor is checking it out, he's asking him to see how many fingers is there you can see alright I think that the eye badly damaged, his mouth is busted up now by the terrific attacks from Pacquiao that he's had to absorb, he's saying yes I'm alright, I'm okay but look at this, that's a right hand walking on the big big punches stopped him in his tracks Glenn throughout the round. He's really got in a rhythm now as Margarito is very, very tired. You see in the best of Manny Pacquiao, he can really perform now because he can rattle off those wonderful combinations. He can use his movement so well and he can really look the, the great, great fighter he is. 11th round, just six minutes remaining. These two fighters will remember each other for the rest of their lives. Great occasion. And Pacquiao, on the greatest stage of all, is providing once more sheer brilliance. Margarito has told his corner, I'm all right. He told the doctor, I'm all right. I can see. Please let me go on. He still searches what would be the greatest win of his career. But it's looking a forlorn task now. Oh, brilliant. John, he may see the fingers, but he's not seeing the punches, that's for sure. Picking him up on the right flank now. Margarito increasingly static, and the gloves are being penetrated again and again. Bravely, though, he comes back and threw a good right hand of his own. Where did he find that from? Very brave, but he hasn't got the reflexes now. Never had the speed to match Pacquiao, but he's tired now and he's getting caught more and more. Referee's got to keep an eye on Margarito now. He's taking a lot. You don't want to see the man seriously hurt. Margarito continuing to come forward, but there comes a point in fights where fighters can be too brave for their own good, and you worry that Margarito may be entering into that sort of territory now. The heads clash. Still, Margarito keeps coming forward, and still he absorbs shots from Pacquiao from every flank, and the referee asking if he can see, and he says, yes, I can, and he comes up and says, yep, you've held up six. Good right hand from Margarito. Well, if Margarito's guessing, he's guessing well, because he's getting it right, isn't he? But that's the pride of the man. 
A lot of fighters would have looked for a way out, but got an excuse to quit. Not Antonio Margarito. He's tough. Teeth tough. What happened before the fight against Shane Mosley was uh, Shane Mosley was very, very wrong. What's happening here against Manny Pacquiao in a lot of ways, although he's surely going to lose, is very, very right. Yeah, what he did against Shane Mosley is unforgivable. You know, that, that is, is just wrong. But what we can't deny is he's got to fight as hard as he yeah. ever. And he's shown it here. And Pacquiao, 20 seconds to go in this 11th round. And how much Margarito wants to see it through to the final bell. And Pacquiao, the exertions of this round have taken it out of it. He's trying to produce a flurry in the last 10 seconds and he's able to do so. But Margarito will not be moved and it's going to go into the final round. Pacquiao wins another round. But he looks tired as well. Well, he might do. He's thrown a huge volume of punches. The doctor's having another good look. And Margarito does not want to be taken out of there. He wants the chance to go for the final three minutes. Yeah, the one thing Pacquiao has proven is that he didn't cut no corners. He did the training right. Freddie Roach, you know, he's a, he's a great trainer. And he'll have made sure he did everything. Amir, this has got to be up with the performances of Pacquiao's career. This is terrific. This is a brilliant performance from Manny. Manny's looking very good, but you can see both fighters getting tired now. They're making a little bit of mistakes, but Manny just has to stay focused. It's the last round now, and he has to just, you know, stick to his game plan. The last round about to be underway, introduced by the master of ceremonies in his inimitable style, Michael Buffer, and now... This vast crowd in Dallas acclaims a great champion in Manny Pacquiao and the two men touch gloves. Terrific show of respect. It has been fought in a wonderful, wonderful spirit. 108, 101 to Pacquiao on Glenn's card. I've got it slightly wider than that, but Pacquiao has been terrific. Glenn, you've seen some great events over the years in your time in commentating on boxing. This has been a spectacular event, but it's been also a great performance. The, the fight has lived up to the, to the event, to the stadium, to everything that's made this such a great, great night. And Pacquiao now just looking to box his way surely now to the last bell. He can't, can't take any chances. He's got to be way ahead on the cards. The three wise men will be sitting in deliberation. They will have their final say over this last three minutes. And look at that again from Pacquiao. Lovely precision work. Beautiful shots. Such accuracy. This is exhibition stuff now. Showing everything he's got. In and out of range. Both hands. Beautiful combinations. A professional career which started when he was just 16 years old. Back in 1995 and Manny Pacquiao now stands within 90 seconds of winning a world title in a sixth weight division and going up alongside the great Oscar De La Hoya who of course he beat in that one-sided fight one of his great performances along the road to superstardom and he is one of the very best boxers that we've ever seen in this sport Margarito is showing that he's one of the bravest but for the most part here for all the weight advantage for all the height advantage and the reach advantage he's been outclassed and everybody out there watching enjoying this because you are seeing one of the greats Someone up there with the, the Roberto Duran, the Julio Cesar Chavez's, the Muhammad Ali, the Sugar Ray, Leonard Sugar Ray Robinson's. Roberto Duran's at ringside tonight. Marco Antonio Guerrero's at ringside tonight. They were great, but when you mention the greats of boxing, never ever forget Manny Pacquiao. Here he is now in the last 30 seconds trying to produce exhibition stuff and grandstand stuff to cross the finishing line in front of his beloved public. Margarito has shown such huge fighting hearts to stay in there, to push Pacquiao all the way. 
but 10 seconds to go. He's going to see it through to the final bell. Pacquiao knows that he's won this one. He knows that he's created history. The crowd stands in acclamation. 12 rounds over, and Manny Pacquiao was magnificent. Quite wonderful. That was superb. He's chaired around the ring. Manny Pacquiao, Amir, you must be proud. You must be proud to be associated with him. Quite oh, definitely, wonderful. Definitely. You know, Manny, what a great performance he put on. Uh, Margarito seemed like a punch bag. Uh, in that last round, you know, Ma Manny was so sharp and accurate. I think now we know why people call him the pound for pound king. He's just amazing. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Just brilliant. From and Margarito, so brave, yeah. tried to fight back, tried to match fire with fire. And he had his moments, but Pacquiao, he just showed such technical superiority. He was superb. Yeah, Margarito had his moments. She showed true heart in there. He's a warrior, but... Against Manny Pacquiao and his speed, I think no one's touching him. Mass in the Catholic churches of Manila has been postponed on this Sunday. It's lunchtime over there as they watch this. Prayers to his God from Manny Pacquiao. He is a devout Christian and he is a very, very warm and giving human being. In the ring, he is a formidable adversary. But he has given us superb entertainment now for a long time. Yes, he has, and he's great for boxing. I think boxing needs a Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, it's just a breath of fresh air when Manny fights. Where does he go from here? I mean, he's just, he's surely got to go back down the weight. Do you think we'll at some point see this Mayweather fight? Is that going to happen? Well, Manny's always wanting to fight Mayweather. And that's, his, that's, the, that's the fight everyone wants to see. Um, I think, you know, if that fight was ever made, it'll be made in the next 12 months. Here's well, now the, is the result. Go to the scorecards. Jay Lango scores the bout 120 108. Glenn Crocker 118 110. Orange Schellenberger 119 109. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. And now, winner of his eighth world championship. The fighting pride of Serengani Province, Philippines, Matt.